Hey, what's happening everybody? Welcome back to Mental Health Casual. I am Lucky and today I wanted to talk to you guys about a particular YouTube channel that I'd heard of originally from the Joe Rogan experience. He did this interview a while back, so it's nothing, you know, completely new, but I thought I would talk about it today because one of his videos actually just flew into my recommended today and I was thinking, wow, what a powerful video and what a powerful message to talk about. Uh, in terms of mental health and just in terms of men in general. So the YouTuber that we're talking about today is Cave313. This is Jason Wilson, who is a karate instructor, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, he went viral a little while ago, or actually maybe a couple of years ago, but uh, it came to my attention once he got on the Joe Rogan experience, where he did this really powerful video with this young man who was trying to break through a board this is typical karate stuff that you know you, you break through a board to get to the next level and it was really awesome to see because the young boy ends up punching but you'll see in the video that he's actually pulling his punches ah! Zeus! Ah! Zeus! Ah! Zeus! Ah! Zeus! Ah! Zeus! Ah! pulling punch all the way through when you feel the pain go all the way through that could be a barrier in life or anything punch hard you feel pain Shake that off. Let's go. Zeus! 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 That's what this is about. Good. Let's get to that. Why are you crying? Go ahead, son. Because what? Because it is hard to do with my left hand. Okay, good. You know, in life, there's going to be things harder for you to do than other things. And you know, those things that may appear to be hard to do, you're going to have to do as a man, regardless. And it's going to take tears. It's gonna take the blood of Yeshua, Jesus, and your sweat to break through it. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So I don't mind you crying. I cry a lot too. You're pulling your blow. I don't know if you're facing fear or you're feeling that you may not make it. And we all face that from time to time. And when we face, as soon as we have resistance, we don't want to stop, right? Because it's hurting. We feel that pain. We're like, I'm not going through this no more, right? Yes, sir. We have to go all the way with men. It's gonna be very painful. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So the real big thing that I love about Jason's approach to this young boy is that he's there to comfort him. He's there to tell him, hey, son, it's okay to cry, but what it's not okay to do is to just give up. And how much more perfect of a metaphor could we get for life than breaking through a board and feeling the pain and pulling back? How many times have you tried to go do something and all of a sudden you just, you meet the littlest resistance and you pull back. I can't tell you how many times I have. This is actually a great thing for me to look at today because listen, I've been trying to put out these videos three times a week. I'm also doing the podcast six days a week, you know, <laughs> so on and so forth. And it just felt like I was meeting so much resistance, but I just kept going. I just kept going and I was wondering, is this even worth it? But then I saw this video and I was just thinking to myself, wow, there's so many people who could use a message like this. Now, granted, am I the best one to display this message? Of course not. But I can at least point you guys to where you can get it from Cave313. Now, granted, this is a little bit of an older video. He's not as consistent, but just watch his videos. Even if they're five years old or three years old or whatever, I mean, they are relevant, man. A lot of people don't really see this man crisis that I'm seeing in millennials that I'm seeing as I start to pay attention to things. Now, granted, you can make the argument that I'm paying attention too close to things, so maybe I'm not seeing the big picture. Um, that's completely a possibility, not completely sure. At least from what I've heard from you guys and from what I've seen on Reddit and obviously small sample size, so take that with a grain of salt. But I'm definitely starting to get uh, worried, but also starting to realize that there are a lot of men out there that are willing to become father figures. Man, father figures are just so necessary nowadays, especially with the fatherlessness rate being as low as it is in each and every demographic. So I just wanted to show you that video, but I also wanted to show you the video that actually came in on my feed today because it talks a lot about anxiety. So to give you a little context, Jason is taking this boy through some drills, which is just, you know, a ducking drill. So just like the young man before, this young man is having some anxiety about what's about to come. Oh, you gotta be Hey, Look at me. You can still Swift see this, right? Up. Deal with your anxiety. Uh-uh. No, no, no. Good. Relax. 
Nothing has happened yet, son. We see really? the leg he got back. You if you respond on a what if, you will get in trouble. You got it, just like that. That's you have how you to wait be, sometime right? before so you make that decision. That, yeah, if you move too yeah, soon, now, move now. Move just like you did. I'll abort. It just hits you in your head. Stand back up. Move when you think you should move on this weapon. You understand? Yeah. Let's go. Good. Set up. Shalom. Good. All right, let's step it up. Back up, quick. There you go. Back up. Yes. Big difference. You got it? It's not this. It's me. I'm the problem. Keep your eyes focused on the problem, not the distraction. So as you can tell, the young man is very apprehensive. He sees the... I don't know what you want to call it, uh, the foam. Uh, we, we used to use noodles where you duct tape them and then, you know, that was how you'd, you'd get hit and stuff or you'd block and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm just going to call it the noodle for right now. I'm not too sure if there's like a specific name for it. But when he's using the noodle and he's using it to strike as if, you know, trying to mimic like a, a, a hook or a, maybe like a, a roundhouse kick, the kid ends up seeing the noodle itself and thinking, oh my gosh, I have to, I have to get away from that. And you can see he is miles off. By the way, this is not me making fun of the kid, but just showing you how often this can happen in real life where you look at something and before the problem is even close to us, we decided to get right out of the way. We get out of Dodge before it even happens. How many times have you made a commitment to something and then you saw the problem? You saw this problem from all the way over here and you decided, I'm getting out of Dodge before you even realized what the problem was. Just like you said right there, he could have went halfway, saw where he went down there, and just smacked him on his head. If you're not paying attention to the root of the problem, which in this case it would be Jason, then you're not gonna be able to solve the problem itself. Give you an example, right? I'm assuming that after this, Jason is eventually gonna teach him how to disarm the person. Once he learns how to avoid the symptoms, right? Because the noodle would be the symptom of the problem, Jason would be the root of the problem because he is holding the weapon. I talked about eye contact a little while ago in my social anxiety video. And one of the things that I learned in MMA was to pay attention to roughly around the torso area. It kind of depends on what you're looking for. If I was facing a Taekwondo person, I'd focus a little bit more towards the belly because I wanted to see their hips. But even then, you know, you could be tricked. And one of the things that I learned through my anxiety was that whenever I would spar with people, I would bite on things. Biting on things just means you take it really seriously. So even if there would be a small little punch, I would be getting out of the way, right? Here's the punch and I would be way out of the way. It got to the point where I was spending so much energy getting, trying to get away from these small punches that I, that I would end up getting hit by the bigger punches because they would see how tired I was. And then going forward, I started to realize if I just bite on every single punch that this person is giving me, they're going to read me like a book. So I had to start realizing, okay, listen, some of these I'm going to have to take. I'm going to have to just kind of get out of the way. And listen, that takes some practice, but just like in real life, there are a lot of problems that are kind of come your way. And if you give each and every problem, all of your anxiety, all of your energy, then you're not gonna be able to solve any of the really big problems because here you are sitting around thinking about, oh my gosh, there's this small problem over here. But because of this video, I'm starting to realize, wow, I should really be focusing on the root of my problems which would be my mental state, my spiritual health. If you ever get a chance to do martial arts, I know it can be a little bit expensive, but even just teaching yourself, there's a lot of YouTube videos online. There is a lot to learn, whether it be getting through obstacles in your life or just learning to deal with humility, because I can't tell you how many times I've gotten my butt kicked by somebody a quarter of my size. I, and I think especially as young men, you really need to feel that moment of getting your ass kicked. There's really no other way to put it. Because once you do, you start to realize maybe you're not the baddest man on the planet. I know that sounds really strange to anybody that's like tuning in. They're just like, I mean, why would you think you're the baddest man on the planet? I cannot tell you how many times I thought I'd figured out every single mixed martial artist until I actually did mixed martial arts, did one round of an actual MMA round, felt like I was gonna die and started realizing, oh, this, this stuff is for real. And having those moments in life can teach you a lot about yourself, what you're made of, and getting pushed to that limit, even though it feels really awkward, will change your life, no matter what it is. It doesn't have to just be MMA. It could be something very hard that's physical for you. But once you get through it, that is one of the best feelings you'll feel in your whole life. The accomplishments that you had to push through, the accomplishments that made you cry, the effort that you had to put into those accomplishments, 
Even if the effort made you cry, even if the effort made you feel like giving up, you will feel much better about it than if it was just something given to you. And life can be a lot like that. Let's say you're somebody who feels like just giving up on life. We've talked about this a lot. There are a lot of people out there, especially on Reddit, who want it all to end. As somebody who definitely did want to give up at one point, now that I've gotten to where I am today, which obviously I wanna get up higher and higher, but just being here, being with you guys today, is a major accomplishment in my life. And it's something that I'm very proud of, but I would have never gotten here if I had just given up. So I guess this video is more about overcoming your anxiety in order to get the things that you want. So definitely go check out Cave 313, Jason Wilson, and all that good stuff. Check out martial arts, and hopefully you guys uh, will be able to level up yourselves as you go forward. Remember, you can email me at mentalhealthcasual at gmail.com if you guys would like me to react to anything. But as always, guys, don't forget to keep it casual. Hey guys, thanks for watching Mental Health Casual. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos.